Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Ultimate Hunter Guide Redux Episode 3. Since the last episode, I should like introduce this episode, although there's not much to say. I just walked back to the bonfire from the gargoyles. That's about it. Interestingly, I did get a Baldur Swag Sword out of the whole affair. Uh, we can get actually quite a few levels. I think I'm gonna try to like balance it between getting to the 27 and the 40, which is uh, the stat number we are shooting for. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna lie, I had that planned out because, well, you know, planning your levels out works, I think. Here's what we're going to do today. Mm, not buy tight night. We are going to buy ammo though. Stock up on some standard arrows because we're getting low. And I think it's time to head into the forest proper. Uh, we did the early part, we went down into Dark Root and all that. Let's get into the the Schmidt of this area. See I'm already taking damage here and this is the first enemy. Uh, I thought I would be able to like cut out the boring bits, but apparently there ain't gonna be any boring bits here. Glad you guys like the scimitar as a weapon choice. I think this is gonna be a good one as well. Again, it's like so rarely used because everybody sims the falchion. Uh, this weapon needs some love as well. Oh fucking hell. There's a pro P PvPers. Anyways, you know where I'm going. It's time for a butterfly. Who I'm not gonna die to this time around, hopefully. But there's an enemy where we'll be able to use our strengths, you know. If you have ranged attacks, use them. Just wanted to come down here. Do I honestly need the wolf ring? Absolutely not. The wolf ring is the ultimate box standard ring that everybody uses, but... There's a good reason why that thing is pretty useful. There is actually a lot of useful stuff here. Obviously we have the Black Bow Ferris in this area. It's just that we're not able to access it at this point in the game. Please tell me I can get this jump. Of course I can. Dark Souls Parkour. That's what you came here for. And anyways... Mm, I'm not even sure I'm gonna hit this bonfire up right now. She's gonna respawn the enemies and I'm doing pretty well with HP. It will be important later. So I should at least light it. Although, that reminds me that this is Dark Souls 1. You cannot warp to every single bonfire in the game. Yeah, this is Dark Souls 1. And like I said, the obviously the warp system of the other games is way more convenient, but there is some charm in having to walk to certain places. Here's the D weapon. Oh no, this is the Partisan, not the Winged Spear. Uh, I used both of them before and they have very similar movesets. Uh, this is something I've not showed. Scimitar has a pretty cool R2 moveset. I've used both of the weapons extensively. That's why I wanted to go for something different. Look at that shot. Why he flew like 4 meters into the air, I have no idea. But we'll take it. Speaking of enemies which very much fall into the boring to fight category, it's these schmucks. Man, I remember, I swear when I first played this game, I had the 
toughest time this, with this enemy. I thought this shit was like the most like difficult thing in the world. Like, fuck, how do you beat these guys? What do you do? Uh, and then you just gotta be, you just gotta be aggressive. Anyways, here we have a butterfly. Who might be? Oh shit! Seriously? Okay, cool. Well, it's not taking as much damage as I thought, honestly. But as you can see, the advantage of rocking this build is you can get some neato damage in here. And yeah, you know, talk about clutch dodge. I always found that attack, that laser attack to be hella random, like if you ask me to tell you what exactly like causes that thing to hit you or not hit you, I couldn't tell you, I swear. Sometimes I honestly think I dodged it and nothing happens, I get hit and other times it's the other way around. Surprised I managed to dodge the laser. But this is one of those classic bosses where you like don't really have to worry about uh, getting hit. If you play your cards right, there's no way you should be killed by this boss. And Mr. Sketch had, has never been killed by this boss. So goes the official Mr. Sketch had propaganda. Clutch. Clutch, clutch, clutch. Basically did this for the souls. Uh, nothing more. It is funny, I do find it funny how this is one of the bosses that you just cannot kill with like uh, one of these like stupid, like really low level builds. Like throwing knives only or... Someone was doing on YouTube, they were doing an armor of thorns roll attack only. Uh, and it turns out this is one of the bosses that is impossible to beat because it actually regenerates HP very slowly, uh, which is crazy that they just decided to give this boss that random mechanic. Uh, and this is the boss that's like impossible to beat. I mean, the dude beat like Gwen with the fucking Armor of Thorns roll and this is the boss that gets to you. And it's just how it is. Cool. Let's get some Vite. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Don't expect anything too interesting leveling wise during this playthrough. It would be nice to upgrade my... Well, it's at plus two, but I think we can upgrade it. Once more, given the Divine Ember, not that we're gonna need it. But it would be nice to have in the back pocket. Cool. Plus three scimitar should be okay. And what do we need to do now? Fuck, it's gotta be Capra, isn't it? We could go to Blight Town, but I think it's gonna gonna have to be Capra, which well, whatever. Gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, honestly, as far as boring run bags go, Capra Demon definitely takes the cake. It doesn't even... He's not even that much of an interesting boss, you know, that's the real shitty thing about it. Look at that fancy attack. Anyways, we still got quite a ways to go. I mean, I do like, I gotta be honest with you, I do like that I'm one-shotting shit now with my bow and arrow as well. At least these low-level schmucks. Except this guy. He does have more HP. But still, it's cool. We are progressing.
So the question is, yeah, okay. My question has just been answered. Because I was going to say, the question is, am I going to get fried by the dragon? Uh, and the answer is definitely yes. What the hell? Interesting that it knocks you backwards, but... Dark... Hold on. Wait a second. Oh shit, I didn't pick it up, did I? Because that's the... I thought this was the watchtower basement key, but it's not. God damn it, I gotta run all the way... Technically, it's not that far. God damn it. I'm officially stupid. I got tripped up by the boar and everything. First time I came through here. Wonderful. Well done, Mr. Sketchhead. It's because I always pick up that key automatically. And I thought that I picked it up automatically this time around as well. Turns out I'm just a dumbass. And I'm hoping to hell the gate. Okay, it's still open. Cool. This should be fairly quick and easy and painless then. Because it's right here. I'm fast and furious in my way back. Fuck the boar. We don't even care. I did not know it could come down here. This is like just one of those bonfires you never take. You know. God, the lack of the kick. Ugh, it sucks. It sucks so much. The bow, does the bow have... No, it doesn't. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Okay, so after that minor, minor setback, uh, we can finally proceed. It really was just me being stupid. But, you know, you, when you just get used to... I think I was rattled by the boar. Uh, the first time around. This isn't even making me making excuses. What up? Very consistent source of damage. All we gotta get to now is being able to use the wooden shield, because that would be cool. Speaking of, what else but this section to remind you? Wolf ring. If you got it, use it. And I know people... The wolf ring is so, like, widely used that people now started to shit on it, but... Bruh, this game is 10 years old. Almost. Is it 10 years old? Actually, I'm thinking, when did this game come out? It, it was sometime around October of 2011. Maybe November. Fucking hell, this game is almost... God, I've been no lifing this YouTube shit for 10 years. Less than 10 years, actually. Because... Well, it depends, you know, what you consider proper YouTubing for me. Because I had some, like, I had videos way back in 2009 of me, like, covering songs on the guitar. Which immediately, well, not all of them got copyrighted, but a lot of them did. And then I started doing, like, some shitty gameplays i did some horror game nightmare house nightmare house 2 which was a half-life mod pretty cool game actually pretty cool horror game um and then came dark souls but even my first playthrough was like kind of low budget i really considered like the first ultimate guides uh where i started youtube you know started I'm not, not just me, like, fucking around. 
and it's been a successful career ever since I got the Maybach Maybach parked outside you know it's how I roll definitely not uh, shit definitely not a 2008 Peugeot that's not what I have French cars are weirder anyways. I don't normally talk about cars uh, on the channel, but my like like my favorite thing is like weird regular cars, you know. I'm kind of dug the Muro in that aspect, you know. It's like my favorite thing. Even if it's just like a weird engine option or like something I just love weird normal cars because you know like with the supercars there's a lot of strange ones uh, and they have like all sorts of weird features but when standard cars have them it's even cooler like only the Europeans will know about this but one of my favorite cars that I would I always have a dream of owning is a Renault Aventime. Like, that thing is so cool. And it's like a normal car. But not. You know, it's basically the French ones which are like that. Um, there's also the... Like, one of the coolest things. there, The Renault Espace. And there's one which has a 3.5 liter V6. From a... I think it's from a N Nissan. Like it has a, it's like a seven-seater family car, and it has a Nissan three and a half liter V6 in it. There's one for sale in the entire country, but you know, three and a half liters. That's like what. The fuel consumption would be insane. Shut up phone. Shut up work phone actually. Okay. Getting off the car topic a little bit. We do need a couple of these. Oh, That's expensive too. Well, do we need? Do we even need a couple of these? I don't know, but tasty, tasty, tasty. We have new arrow types: fire arrows and poison arrows. More importantly, I'm buying these just for demonstration purposes for now. Honestly, when we get later into the game, these are gonna be like standard ammo for us. Poison arrows especially are very useful and they do allow you to trivialize some like, pretty difficult sections. Infamously, you can use it to bypass the archers at An Orlando because you can poison them and just let the other uh, poison kill them if you're patient enough. But seriously, again, if I ever do get a Renault Evan time, that's gonna be a YouTube video for sure. I feel like if there's ever a car that's gonna like go up in value, it's gonna be that. Because they only made like 8,000 of them. Whatever, okay. Shut up about strange French cars. Uh, yeah, let's just rest here. And... Demonstrate some arrows. And the poison one is gonna be not a good source of demonstration because I think all these guys are gonna die in one hit, so... Yeah. So never mind. Interesting. 
It doesn't deal much more damage. It does, obviously, it does do more damage, but I was expecting like pretty big numbers. Fire crotch shot. This does look a lot better in HD. You gotta admit. Interestingly, uh, infusing your... Did he just straight up die from fall damage from leaping off? What an idiot. So I was gonna say, interestingly, the bow infusions do work with the arrow types. So if you have a fire infused bow, you are going to do more um, damage with your fire arrows. Pretty cool feature. I mean, it's nothing major, but it does work like that. Cool. What do we need to do now? Well, we need to track it back to Capra Demon. Okay, here we go. This is always a wonderful section to go through, but somehow it worked out quite smooth. Uh, we are... You know what? I haven't even used a gold pine up to this point. So, if there was ever a time it's gonna be this. This is not a boss battle where your... Uh, what you call it, bow and arrow would ever come in handy, but I hate that. Always piss me off about this fight. The fact that he can hit you up there like that, it's infuriating. I thought the other dog was still alive, I'm like, how the hell? And okay, this is basically one. Mr. Capra Demon. He is weak to lightning too. Oh shit. And this boss. This boss as well drove me crazy on my first playthrough. I was like, no way is this possible. Turns out you only need the wolf ring. The wolf ring hasn't even been changed that much. Uh, and we had iron flesh. You guys remember? Like OG Dark Souls 1 people. You guys remember how Iron Flesh used to be? It literally had like no downsides uh, and the way to beat Gwen was to Iron Flesh yourself and just go to town. Those were the days. And then they nerfed it, and Iron Flesh has not been useful ever since, unfortunately. Look at them headshots. God damn it. Okay. Can play it like that. You just gotta, like, not mess around with these ones with the torches. You know that. So yeah, this was an infuriating boss, but looking back, it really was about just adjusting to the game itself. It's like crazy how basic these like bosses and everything seem. Especially compared to something like Dark Souls 3. I mean, like, Dark Souls 3 is crazy difficult. Uh... On like a baseline compared to this game. If you compare the easiest Dark Souls 3 boss versus the easiest boss in this game, it's just not even a comparison. Did I... Okay, I missed. I was like, did that shit just hit something? Well, I mean, it did. It hit the back wall. How much does a feather arrow 
That's 73. 65. I mean, that is more damage, but... Considering how much more expensive feather arrows are... I'm not sure what's worth it and what's not. They're gonna rock the shortcut. I mean, this is one of those why would you not want to rock this shortcut type deals. Spider Shield GG. And of course, the rat, who we could even kill via normal means, but. I'm not the type to resist a sweet plunging attack, which didn't work, but whatever. Fuck, that hasn't worked in like the last two playthroughs, I think. It certainly sure as hell didn't work in the previous playthrough. I'm a bit disappointed in that, because that's a pretty cool animation. It's not something you get to do. It's a once in a playthrough type deal. Well, shit. Oh yeah, uh, people in the comments of the last video, just because it reminded me because we're going to rescue Laurentius, uh, said that I should use Pyromancy. I don't think I'm going to do that. It probably would work. It's not too big of a sort of interference. Power within would be pretty good, but I don't know, man. I want to keep this bow only for sure, if possible. I mean bow only like with it being the main gimmick here ah fuck it gotta get the hp as well just a little bit just a taste could get through this game without leveling hp completely i think but that's like you're never not gonna need that many levels you'll always have some to spare for hp and endurance plus it makes things like running back a lot less painful I was gonna snipe you out of the air fuck ouch fair enough okay double fair enough It's like fucking <laughs> like some silent hill monster coming after me. Pyramid head. Oh man. Why did I start talking about Silent Hill? Like I got into some like PT I went to, on a PT bender again, you know, where I just get sucked into watching PT videos and then get really depressed that that game's never gonna come out. It happened again. And I never even had PT. Like, I only played it at a friend's house back in the States who had it. And I was like, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, my, maybe I'll download it later. And then it's fucking... Then it's fucking gone. And I was pissed. But you know this, I've talked about this before, that sometimes I'll just like get sucked into watching videos about PT and then I'm always like fuck it's never gonna happen because you know I actually thought I did actually think that Death Stranding was pretty cool I do like the game even though I gotta get myself to finish all the side quests and everything uh, it's never gonna measure up to like a proper horror game and I know there is what's the game called Visage uh, on Steam, which is like PT inspired, but man, does that not kind of look the same in terms of like the same level of quality? I'm sure it's a good game, but you know, PT man and Silent Hills. <sighs> oh well, what can you do? Mm, here's what we're gonna do. Wolfring saving the day once again. Great axe that we're never gonna need. Yeah, we're gonna go and take out the 
sorcerer who sometimes I forget to ah oh, come on to take out and that's not something you want to forget a bit of rat hunting Here he is. I don't think I'm gonna have time for gaping in this episode, but I think we'll make do with Capra. Capra is enough excitement for one day, right? Could be. Come on! Blocking my line of sight. Even from beyond the grave. Okay, just chill 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 because you're buffed oh can i hit him and he can't hit me i think so idiot what an idiot and there should be guaranteed large shards here at least one or two right right okay well if there was ever an exciting point to wrap up this episode it would be when i picked up that large shard uh i'm going to go ahead and wrap up part three of the ultimate hunter's guide this one was eventful we made some good progress depths blight town is next Excuse me. We'll see which way I go through Blight Town. I might just take the standard route. As in from here. Uh, instead of the rear entrance. Well, we'll decide on that. Uh, as always, if you did like this video, make sure to give it a like. Comment and subscribe if you're new here. Comment if you're not new here either. Or as well, I should say. Uh, turn on post notifications. And I will catch all of you next time. Take care and peace out.